Hello everyone, my name is Ezaz Patel and you are watching Ezaz Patel official YouTube channel. Welcome to the part 22 of responsive e-learning website development in PHP with PDU. So guys, in last tutorial, we successfully designed this one from here. So just look at this now. We have designed this. So in this tutorial, we are going to working on when uh, to getting this value, this value inside here. So how can you do that so simply we are going to open the function.php page from here and at the end of the function page we are going to create one another function from here with the function the name is contact okay So first of all, we are going to include the file and c slash db.php. It is our database connection. Okay. So we are going to save this one from here. And now simply directly we are going to fire the query from here. Get con equal to dollar con and then prepare statement. And we are going to set it with the select star from contact let's see the table name yeah contact right select star from contact so now get con set page mode is pdo page underscore asop okay then after we are going to create one another execution statement execute and here we are going to say row equal to dollar get con and then page function okay so it will be fetching our uh, value from here simply we are going to echo this one from here and what we are going to do here come back into the contact.php here and we are going to copy this whole form tag from here Cut this one from here by control X. Paste that form tag inside our uh, echo statement. Okay. Going to some tabbing from here for the better performance. So let's look at this now. Now, uh, the next task is remove the double quotes with the single quotes. Okay. So remove this one with the single quotes and then here also we are going to change this one from here here also it from here single quotes single quotes single code single code also change it from here with the single code remove all the double quotes and replace with the single quotes just because we are uh, running here echo statement inside echo statement only one time we use a double quotes otherwise we cannot use double quotes second time okay so get it in your mind remove this one remove also this one from here single quotes single code change it change it also this one now changing this one change it again and again now the sixth one is remaining so we are going to change it as faster as we have remove this one also from here again from here again here remove this one this one single quotes single quotes single quotes single quotes last one is remaining so we also do it with the same as we have done above 
so single coded now we need to execute that function contact inside our contact dot php page here so i'm going to create one php tag here echo this one okay so now let's uh, refresh the page and see what we have so let's look at this now we have a same value so now come back again into the function dot php from here and here we are going to setting the value from here okay so value equal to if i write here my name so it will be the value just look at this now we have a value as us okay as the same way we execute one query from here and fetching that query with the row variable so we are going to directly use double quotes dot dot dollar row and phn which is coming from here just so just look at here from here phone okay so now let's check it is coming or not bingo it is coming just look at here our value is coming from here as the same way we are going to copy this one from here by control c paste that one from here by control v and select with the email this one is for the add one this one is for the add two this one i think yt yes yt fb or inside single quotes f b then gp which means google plus so gp then pw ln okay refresh it again okay undefined variable ln yeah 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 just because we have a link here okay so we need to link here link so refresh that one from here so let's look at this now now we have all the information just like we have here okay so we have to design i think this uh, some thing from here so come back into the index.php here input have a border one pixel solid has three f five two six seven and we need to that border with some radius border radius uh, 3 pixel okay let's refresh and check so just look at this now now we have a border with the radius okay so guys i think this is enough for today in next tutorial we are going to working on this save button when someone click on this save button then what should be done here then this in, this all information are updated automatically so i think guys this is enough for today if you guys are like my videos then like and share my videos and if you have any question in your mind then comment below and don't forget to subscribe the channel thanks a lot for watching guys see you in next tutorial stay connected with me stay tuned goodbye